where can you stake ethereum there are plenty of platforms out there where you can stake ethereum but which are the most trustable and reliable platforms this is exactly what we are going to look into this video today and if you are somebody who is holding ethereum this video is going to help you make extra money with your ethereum so watch it carefully take action and grow your income Hi everyone I'm Harsh Agarwal I'm the founder of coinsutra.com and here I'm going to help you learn about ethereum staking this is the first video in this series where I'll be talking about some of the best ethereum staking platform and as we move ahead I'll show you how you can stake ethereum and how you can maximize your return from ethereum staking so without further delay let's go ahead let's look into ethereum staking platforms just to let you know by default if you want to stake ethereum you need 32 ethereum but thanks to this centralized and decentralized ethereum staking platform you can stake as low as 0.1 ethereum and enjoy the benefit of ethereum staking another thing when you stake ethereum your ethereum will be locked for next 1 to 2 years or maybe a little more until ethereum 2.0 is officially launched so keep that in mind as well but when you are staking ethereum you'll also get a derivative token which you can use for trading or you can use for multiple purposes which we will be looking in the upcoming part of this video series so as long as you have ethereum you should watch this video it's going to be really helpful for you so let's go ahead so there are centralized and then there are decentralized platforms if you are somebody who's technical i highly recommend you to start using decentralized platform where you can connect with your hardware wallet or metamask to stake your ethereum though using a hardware wallet is highly recommended over directly using metamask and then there are centralized platform which is perfect for a beginner who are not tech savvy and already invested in ethereum so you can use this centralized platform to stake your ethereum so first let's look at the decentralized platform and then look at the centralized platform so the very first one is lido.finance and this has been around for a while and it's absolutely growing in terms of number at the time of making this video they have more than 2.3 billion dollar staked ethereum in the value and they also issue a tokenized derivative called steth which is here and you can use this derivative token for multiple purpose by maximizing your return on decentralized platform like curve or recently added terra i know it might be complicated but bear with me as in the third video of this series you will learn how you can maximize the token derivative which is going to be absolute stunning for a lot of you so Lido also has a token called LDO Lido DAO token which is mostly used for governance and I'm hoping with time that it would have more utility personally I'm a big fan of this particular token again it's not an investment advice you need to do your own research before you invest in LDO token but what you need to understand that LDO is the governance token for Lido finance and this is how the platform looks like it's very simple you connect it with your wallet you can add any amount of ethereum here the reward fee the fee that lido.finance keeps from the overall reward is about 10% which is to maintain the platform by the way creating an infrastructure for staking a token is quite an intensive task and i believe 10% is completely okay which is also you know one of the lowest fee in comparison with other platform and yeah once you do this you will have so right now the lido statistic is annual percentage rate is 5.2% this is the total amount of eth that has been staked with lido number of stakers and sth market cap which is 2.6 billion dollar uh, so it has increased by significant number when i noted the number before anyways so you can also read about you know everything that you need to do before you stake your ethereum on lido dot finance some of the biggest name in the industry are using lido finance so i have enough trust in this platform and i've been using it for a really long time so this is the first platform that you should be using lido dot finance lido dot fi you can find the link in the description Now the second platform is Rocket Pool which is work under progress and this is another decentralized Ethereum 2.0 staking protocol and they recently launched their testnet and you can stake your ethereum like you know any amount that you want 
you can also run your own node if you like that or you can do various other things which this platform offers but again this rocket pool platform is yet to launch officially for the public so it's a good platform that you should be aware of now let's look at the centralized platform and the very first one is coinbase now coinbase is the number one exchange in us and it is one of the regulated exchange which is also listed on nasdaq and you can earn up to 5.0 percent apr by staking your ethereum one downside is when you are staking on coinbase you might not get any derivative token so you know the only earning that you will be having is this five percent apr now you also need to understand that when coinbase is not available the staking feature is not available in all the countries and which is a limiting factor and let's see and then there is this help guide where you can read everything about staking ethereum on coinbase and i'll leave the link in the description you can follow it from there another platform which i personally like from the centralized part is kraken on, on kraken you can stake your ethereum and earn any anywhere between five to seven percent which is variable and kraken also offers staking of many other token including flow cardona solana but in summary you can stake your ethereum on kraken kraken is also available for many jurisdictions so you can sign up it's a, it's a very popular exchange you can find the link of kraken in the description now the last one is Binance, which is very popular cryptocurrency exchange, which is being arm twisted by a lot of regulators around the globe. So I may not be super confident about this staking at this moment, because when you are staking your token on any of this platform, you are basically trusting the platform to take care of your coin or your Ethereum for next few years. And I believe Binance is going to stay, but still there are, you know, I would rather use a decentralized platform where you have much better control over centralized platform. Another thing or downside of staking is that the price of the Beacon, Ethereum and ETH peg is not constant. It's keep, keep moving significantly which is good for grid bot trading but again it's not a very healthy sign so this is something that you should be aware of so these are the five platforms that you can use for staking your ethereum centralized platform are easy to use great for beginners so if you are looking for my recommendation and if you want to use a centralized platform then start with kraken if not kraken then use coinbase or binance now binance is not allowed for many countries including us so if you're from us you can't use binance unfortunately otherwise the best way to stake your ethereum is by using lido rot finance hands down you can do a lot more with the derivative token that you will get by staking on lido rot finance and i'll be doing another video on how to stake on lido rot finance after this video so do subscribe to my channel for that update and to subscribe to our newsletter you'll find the newsletter link in the description that would help you to stay updated with latest in cryptocurrency world with that i will see you in the next video bye bye this is harsh